Good day, everyone. It is Thursday, September 16th, and it's a beautiful day out there. We're already halfway through September. I hope you are all doing well in the midst of all of the continued challenges that we have with the COVID and the new variants. Um, I know that we're trying to do the best we can here at the cathedral to keep everybody safe, so we're highly recommending masks and uh, appreciate all that you're doing to help so that other people who feel very vulnerable uh, can feel safe to come to church here. So thank you. I've been thinking a lot lately because I get a lot of questions about uh, heaven and hell. And one of the things that comes to mind is even in regards to heaven and hell, we um, make God into our own image rather than allowing God to make us in God's image, and we try to put into human terms and categories something that we, we can't possibly put into human terms. Uh, <clears throat> we know that Jesus came to show us who God really is, not a petty tyrant who tells us of a torturous hell, but a kind and compassionate, merciful God beyond all of our expectations. As a student of theology way back in the 1970s, I remember reading a lot of Joseph Ratzinger, who was a great theologian who has become Pope Benedict XVI. And he wrote a book called Introduction to Christianity. And he explains his understanding of the curious phrase in the middle of the Apostles' Creed, Jesus descended into hell. Now, that's always been a confusing phrase for so many. And Pope Benedict, back when he was just Joseph Ratzinger, says that since Christ went into hell, that means that hell is hell no longer because love dwells in it. That's an amazing statement. Jesus Christ and hell cannot coexist. Once Jesus got there, the whole game of punishment <clears throat> was over, as it were. And then if we look at what uh, Pope John Paul II said to his listeners, he said that heaven and hell are not physical places at all. They are states of being in which we dwell either in a loving relationship with God or one of separation from God, who is the source of all life and joy. And Richard Rohr writes, who is the Franciscan theologian, heaven is not, is not about belonging to the right group or following the correct rituals. It's about having the right attitude towards existence. And the attitude that is a right attitude is that we, we live, we're called to live in love, serving our neighbor and the poor. So it's all about love. A loving God who is not out to get us for any wrongdoing, but is always running after us when we stray to bring us back to our loving relationship. We can, we can refuse this relationship, of course, and we can be separated from this loving God by our own choice. And that's basically what hell is. It's not a place. It's, an, it's, it's, it's something we don't understand, but... Even our, our attempt to love gets us into heaven. And our refusal to even attempt to love, then we are, we, the experience we have after life is an experience without God. It's not a place. It's just a state of mind. Our God always wants us in relationship, always forgiving us and calling us to return, God is trying to make us into God's image of mercy and kindness and forgiveness while we try to make God in our image uh, as humans. Our image is one that holds greed, grudges, finds it hard to forgive, wants revenge. That's not who God is. God is only compassion and love, unconditional love. So let us not be afraid of this God. We choose hell by not loving. And that's the state of 
the state of mind. It's a, it's a state. It's an experience. As long as we struggle to love, and struggle to live a life of service, we are in a relationship with God, and we will experience heaven. Have a wonderful week, and take care of each other. Let us take care of each other and. Be mindful of those who are feel so vulnerable with this virus that it's easy for us to wear a mask so they can feel comfortable. Thanks, everybody, for all the good things that you do.